Hi everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is a game from 1995 called Anvil of Dawn. Okay, first of all, I want to let the introductory cutscene play straight through, uninterrupted by my babble. So I'm going to fire up the game, and when we get to character creation and the game leaves us alone for a bit, I'll be back. In the meantime, here is the intro to Anvil of Dawn. be made. Fate has set its roots in the present. It begins. Beloved Tempest lies red under the blood of her own people. Azariah, show them. Watch now! The last few months unfold. They came across the scar. Gorge Keep slowed them for a time. Long enough for the armies of Tempest to assemble. Still, we could not hold. The worst of the evil from desolation is upon us. Where these dark armies pass, rivers turn to mud, grass withers, trees bend, 
and the dead rise to fight against us. There is one who leads them, a figure in dark armor, a warlord. We believe he possesses a terrible magic. Its evil aids his forces to victory. No army can stand against them. No nation can withstand them. The Horde marches on, and soon their boots will echo in these very halls. We must find another way. Whatever dark magic the Warlord commands, it must be destroyed. The fate of Tempest now lies in the hands of those volunteers here assembled. Only you, my few, my fearless ones, only you might wrest from the Warlord the secret to his unearthly power, steal it away, so that our armies can fight on even ground. Without you, there is no hope. My lady, do not despair. Hope is sometimes found in the most unexpected places. Yet great evil, such as we now face, can only be met and overcome with equally great sacrifice. Okay, here we are. Character creation. I'll get into this in a second, but first I want to talk about how I found this game. I've been wanting to do another Let's Play for a while, and I've been trying to figure out which game to pick. I don't want to do something that's completely oversaturated. I want to do something that's fun. I also don't want to do something that's really, really long. Um, and I was going to do um, the interplay game Stonekeep, which is a dungeon crawler, grid-based, much like this. Um, I was pretty much ready to start doing that last night, but I thought, hang on, it's fairly well known. Maybe I can find um, something that's more obscure. So I went looking uh, through forum threads and stuff. It turns out, oh, there are tons of these games that I've never even heard of. So this game, Anvil of Dawn, came out the same year as Stonekeep. Um, and this year was sort of the last gasp of the genre of grid-based action role-playing game dungeon crawlers. The, you know, the sort of Grimrock-style stuff. In fact, Grimrock... I should say, I can't say it was the, really the last gasp, but because Grimrock a couple of years ago sort of brought it back. But mid-90s, the thing just sort of died off because 3D engines were coming in and people were a lot more impressed by, um, by high-performance 3D and they really were starting to feel kind of dated. Which is a real shame because they were just, as they were dying off, they were starting to really take advantage of multimedia and the capacity of CD-ROMs and things. So this is another one of the games from the very last days of this genre. After I realized it was available on GOG, I just picked it up and I'm just gonna be let's playing it blind. I've never played this game in my life. 24 hours ago, I'd never even heard of it. All that I've seen is last night, I started playing around with it to just get the technical aspects of this let's play all sorted, make sure that I was capturing it okay, um, get the MIDI music to play through general MIDI, so it will play through bass MIDI and a nice sound font and stuff, because apparently the music in this game is quite nice. And I really haven't played beyond the first five or so minutes of the game. In fact, just now was the first time I've even watched the intro. So, I don't really know what to expect. This is my first time doing a blind Let's Play. Um, in the stuff that I've done before, it's been fairly heavily prepared and, and, and researched and stuff. Even Might and Magic, I... Um, generally ran through each section before I recorded it so I knew where I was going and how it was going to end up being. So this is going to be more spontaneous. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know whether I have the skill to do this. Ugh, it could be terrible. But I just wanted to try something a little different and push myself into a new territory here and a little bit out of my comfort zone. Okay, so first of all, this is not a party game. Unlike Eye of the Beholder and many, many, many of, of the Dungeon Master clones, um, you're not carrying, you're not controlling four characters here. You're just controlling one. Um, so all we have to do is pick one. Uh, we have a choice of five here. Apparently, their plots and storylines do um, slightly differ through the game. So I, 
I, I don't know which one I'm going to go for. Let's take a look at these five. Okay. Your uh, strength would be a storm upon the land. If chosen, let nothing slow you on your quest. More detail. Right, okay, so we've got four statistics here. We've got strength, stamina, agility, and power, and I'm going to assume that... Um, that strength has, you know, uh, that affects damage, stamina affects hit points, agility affects a chance to hit, maybe empower is something to do with magic. I guess we want something a little more balanced than this, so I definitely want to get into magic on this playthrough. Um, so let's let's forget, let's rule out that guy for, for starters. Oh, no, it looks as though we can edit, but no, let's rule out this guy. Um, you are quick and agile. If chosen, you must find the secret of the Warlord's power. Well, agility could be good, but still pretty short on the power stakes. A dark spell binds and shackles our once free land. If chosen, your ability and magic must undo these evil bonds. Well, magic is appealing. Yeah, he's got um, the highest power we've seen so far. I'm not sure if the, the low strength and stamina may make him a liability though. I don't know what the mechanics of this game are, so I'm going to be choosing this blind. I've heard tales her? of your speed and daring. If chosen, may the enemy learn how true these stories are. Okay, another one uh, really short on, on power. Um... Just a little more agile and, and, and with a lower stamina than the guy in the middle there. And then, um... Yours is the face of our enemy. If chosen, you must prove loyal to us, and more than the evil of your people. Hmm, okay. Well, that sounds like it might have some connotation story-wise. Um, a, a completely balanced character there. See, that's the one I will probably go for, but I don't know if I want to play this uh this 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 race here that i don't really i don't understand the the relation to the game and how it might maybe it could make things more difficult in the game um okay i did just notice you that are quick and agile we can edit let's see oh okay so we can for any of these characters adjust their point um allocations by the looks of it that's nice So maybe we could do that. No, uh, no, I don't want to get into that. Let's just pick one. A dark spell I guess of the five, let's go for the magic user. If chosen... Your ability and magic must undo these evil bonds. Okay, yeah, we'll go for him. We'll go for Ian Murth. Um, you know, he doesn't have a, a one point in anything here. I mean, he it's relatively balanced. And I don't know how this is going to work out, but let's... The let's greatest just magic is the faith we place in you. You must not fail. Okay. All right, let's um, let's figure out what we what we have here. So, we um, have um, sort of it looks as though it's uh, it's largely mouse driven. Can we use the cursor keys as well? We can, but I have a noisy keyboard, so I'm going to mostly stick to the mouse where I can. I think because this mechanical keyboard is going to get annoying um, if I'm hitting the keys all the time. Okay, let's explore the interface a little. But if I click on the portrait there, okay. An eyeball. Peculiar. Uh, we've got a, um, a rag doll here. It looks as though... Oh, no, that's examine. You're right, yeah. I did I did take a brief look through... It really just skim-read the manual um, last night. These are examine and use icons. We don't have anything on us at the moment. But that's how we look at and use things. Um, right, okay, so there's our uh, there's our attribute points. Weapon levels 
gained experience towards next level, hacking, thrusting, slashing, ranged. And then we have magic scrolls here, seven of those by the looks of it. So it looks as though we gain experience by using things, by using weapons and, and magic. Unarmored, no active magics, no afflictions, not encumbered. So this one is encumbrance, okay. Ah, oh, okay, we've got a journal here. Um, all right, let's see what this first page says. I'm grateful to the historians of the palace for supplying me with this journal. It shall serve as a place to record my discoveries and remind me of the tasks I must undertake to complete my quest. By, this wo by these words, perhaps future generations will know how valiantly we fought to defeat the warlord. Okay. Um, so that's journal. This is options. We can turn off the visibility of certain pieces of the interface. We've got um, sound adjustment here. Output to printer. That's not something you see very often in games. Um, is that we can print the auto map from the game. Um, that's odd. That'll take us back to the paper doll. Yeah, that's cool. Um, there's a spell book. We don't know any spells yet. Okay. And I guess this is our inventory area. This is where we will drop stuff and we also have space for a bag and a chest. That will take us back to the, the map. That presumably is dropping things. This is save. Um, yeah, let's give ourselves a save here. Um, just call it trioptimum. There. Um, oh, that's the pause menu, I suppose. Um, and then uh, the auto map. Right. So uh, it looks as though we can write on the auto map. Um, we can keep notes. That's nice. So if, yeah. So we can uh, create notes around the map. We also have a fairly rich set of icons and things that appear: objects, walls, doors. Um, Illusory wall, pressure plate, reflector, block, spikes, pit, entrance, exit, portal, ball, chest, altar of healing, altar of magic, strengths, uh, minus strength zone, minus spell points zone. There's a whole load of areas that buff by the looks of it. Uh, what does that do? Oh, that just toggles notes. That takes us back to, uh, to the options. No other auto maps to look at. So that cycles through maps. That's, I guess, print and. Oh, okay. Uh, we just um, toggled that and. Ah, right, okay. This must be. Yeah. It looks as though these are the areas that I've explored before in previous save games. So that's interesting. So it looks as though by successively starting um, new games it still retains a memory of the places that you've explored. So you do benefit from the things that you... That's a peculiar mechanic. Yeah, not, not sure what to think about that, but you can see how far that I went, really, uh, no more than five or ten minutes in. Okay, what do we have in the treasure chest? Um, potion of healing. I think we right-click and that goes into our inventory. Yep, there we are. Potion of healing there. Um, a magia plant, and then now the chest is empty. Okay. It looks as though the auto map, we have a radius of about two on that, so... Um, oh, that's a, that's a switch. Okay. Oh, who is this? Day it is, and well past sunrise. The old one, our lady's advisor, would have a word with you. <laughs> would he now? Would he be asking me to a breakfast? No, nor would the court magician, nor the armor. They both would speak with you as well. Best hurry. Okay, we have a dialogue interface here, so if we click greet, we should... Good morning to you then, though it is later than I thought. May it be a good omen that I've slept so well. You've slept well into midday. Morning is past. Good omen or bad, the time has come for you to leave. Midday? A curse on these weary bones, then. The others, have they set out on their own journeys? Those who would serve my lady rose early. They went quickly about their business. You are the last. What's your name? 
What's your name, boy? My name's Wiglaf. I'm a faithful servant of my lady. The old one, you say? The sage, you mean? Where might I find him? You'll find the old one deep in the castle. Look in the area beneath the palace halls. The court magician, the armorer, are they to be found as easily? Easy enough. You'll find them. They've supplies for you, things you'll need. The palace guards will keep you out of trouble. Well then. Thank you, young man. I'll be on my way. Goodbye. And may the gods grant you the strength to face our enemies. Okay. So the first thing you will notice is that this is full voiced. Um, it did ship on CD-ROM and... I think for the for the time period that we're talking about here, the the voice quality, the acting quality is is not terrible. Um, I'm very glad that it's all full voice because it saves me from having to read all the dialogue in silly voices because no one really wants to hear my Sean Bean voice. Believe me. Okay, it looks as though we're going this way. Do we have anything new in our journal though? Yes, we do. We're on page four now, so let's go back and catch up on what we just wrote. The serving boy urged me to meet with the court magician and the armorer. After I see them, I intend to seek out the old sage in the palace halls below. Supplies are what I need. I hope the armorer and the magician intend to provide me with more than a good word. I need a weapon and a spell or two wouldn't hurt. Once I have paid a visit to both ma the Magician and the Armorer, I intend to meet the Old Sage, Azariah. I believe he is somewhere deep in the stone bowels of the palace. Okay. Um, uh, shortcuts? No, I can't press J to do the shortcut. I press Escape, that's not a save. I'm going to have to look up before the next uh, time I record one of these what keyboard shortcuts I can do, because uh, it'll be a little annoying if I don't uh, understand those, but let's see. So it looks as though this game doesn't exactly start off with a load of combat. It seems to be easing us into the world a little bit in a safe environment of the palace. Hello. How goes your watch? I would give my life for our lady in battle, but I prefer a quiet watch. I hope it stays so. I'll take your hope, and offer you my prayers. Good luck to you. So that conversation with the first, um, with the boy back there, he referred to the others, and I think that's the other um, four characters of the five that we got to choose one from, I believe. It looks as though we um, got a later start than, than all of those. I assume there's no... Um, hidden good stuff around here. I, I'm not gonna go checking every single wall for like being illusory and, and transparent or, or anything like that because that will make a very slow and uh, boring playthrough. Good day to you. May I pass? With apologies from my lady, you may not. No one may take this passage today. A silence hangs about these halls. Is the palace always so? It's the silence of doom, I think. The joy of the old days is gone. Take heart, for the warlord has won too many battles. He believes himself invincible. That is a weakness. Oh, then if we believe ourselves beaten, is that a strength? Ah, your words are too strange. You'd better be off about your business. Thank you for your words. I'll leave you to your watch now. Goodbye, then. Our hopes go with you, and the others. Thank you for your words. He was mocking me. Because what I was saying made no sense. Okay, it looks as though the backdrops in this thing are completely pre-rendered by the looks of it. They don't look superb, but... The, uh, the other characters, however, seem to be hand-drawn 2D sprites, and they're pretty nicely done. Good day to you. May I pass? My apologies, but no. By orders of Our Lady, none may pass this way. Outside the palace, I hear nothing but talk of defeat. Some might say it, 
but not I. Let come what may. I'll defend my lady. She knows her guards will stand fast. Then she has faith in us both. Pray I do as well at my task as you at yours. I'll pray it. The gods grant you that strength and more. Now, you should be on your way, I think. I'll take my leave of you, good fellow. My lady is blessed to have such guards. Godspeed to you. Okay. Where now? Oh. Is this the uh, mage guy? Oops. Not the right way. Hello. Good day. Might you tell me? I am Shang Rook, court magician. You are late. So you are the court magician. I was told to seek you out. Your lateness disturbs me. Why were you not with the others? It would seem I was meant to be well rested. Perhaps the better to learn from you. <laughs> A quick answer. Yes, I am prepared to teach you the symbols. You mean the magic gestures. I know little. Very little, I can tell. The symbols are man's way of summoning the elemental energies. By them we control the forces of fire and water. We command wind and earth and unleash lightning upon the land. Man himself was formed of these elements, and so we possess a language which speaks to them still. It is the lessons of the symbols. I've never been a student of magic. What lessons have you for one so unskilled as I? One cannot master the world overnight. For now I shall acquaint you with two spells. The first is the Blessed Weave of Healing Wounds. I am certain you shall need it. Watch carefully. Now, do as I did. Cast the spell. No, no, watch again. Focus and remember. I shall try. Good. You may have some small skill in the disciplines. Now for the second spell, you shall choose. Hmm, okay. This is going to be an important decision, isn't it? The second it? spell you offer. From what shall I choose? Choose from the disciplines, the spells you know too little of. Earth is the discipline of metal, stone, and molten fury. Wind is the discipline of gales, howls, and whirling winds. Fire is the discipline of conflagration, of ash and dragon's flame. Water is the discipline of mists, of fountains, and of ice. Lightning is the discipline of storm, thunder, and wild forces. Hmm. I can't stop staring at this guy's staff, which seems to be twitching like it's a, a live thing. Now, I have no idea what the... A correct decision is here, or whether there's one that's terrible, one that's good. Hmm. Just I choose a spell from the lightning. discipline of lightning. From lightning comes the laughing skull of thunderous might. Watch and learn. Okay. Did I just learn that? Would you demonstrate a spell from the discipline of water? I believe it more than you can master at this time. Hmm. You have done well to learn two spells this day. Are there no other disciplines than these? Only the most ancient and difficult to learn remains. It is the magic of the void. Hmm. Okay. For what you have taught, I thank you. It is late, and I must move on now. Farewell to you. As your skill grows, fear not to learn what new spells you may come across. Okay, I will fear not. That bed looks comfortable. Okay, so um, I've just noticed the spell icons here. So that those will cast them, I guess. Um, let's take a look at our journal. Uh, nothing new there. 
But we do now have something in our spellbook. Here we are. Laughing Skull of Thunderous Might is of the Discipline of Lightning. When a cast a great skull forged of lightning forms, this apparition speeds away, generating a thunderous laugh as it surges towards its target. When the skull strikes, it erupts in a damaging explosion. Sounds pretty good to me. Blessed Weave of Healing Wounds is of the Discipline of Flesh. The effect of the magic is simple and straightforward. It heals wounds. Good name, then. Some creatures, uh, some creatures prove capable of casting this spell, thus adding to their endurance during combat. Okay. I don't know how we equip those things. They seem to both to auto-equip on the interface, so I don't know um, quite what we do when we have more spells if we want to swap them in for those ones, but I guess we uh, are not in a position to need to know that yet. Mm-hmm. Well, there's um, a door there, and it looks as though there's another one of these switches here. Yeah. We can't strafe in this game, as far as I can tell. We I can only turn. But that's okay. Hello. How goes your watch? I would give my life for... I hope it stays so. I'll take your hope. Yeah, we had that conversation already. Um, are they all going to say the same thing? It's already grayed out, I watch? think. I would give my yeah. life. I hope it stays... I'll take your... I think when it's a new dialogue option, it appears in white, and when it's an old one that we've already seen, it appears in grey. Yeah. Switch here. How goes your I would give my life. I hope it stays. I'll take your Yeah. Pretty samey these guards. I wonder what would happen if we didn't follow the script. Uh oh, okay. Um hello. How goes your watch? I would give my life. I hope it mm. stays. I'll take okay. your well, let's walk through a hole in the basement. That's not strange at all. A portcullis we can't get through. There is a fairly prominent button there, though. Let's see. Oh, hello. Those weapons look old and useless. Who are you? You look as if you've been here forever. There is a smell of iron about you, weaponsmith. Thousand smell of iron. You're the last, are you? The rest came early. Got the best I had left, too. I'll be grateful for whatever you have, I hope. What can you offer? I have the basics. You choose a star and I'll give you the best I had. There's hacking weapons, of course. You need the strength to swing and the luck to hit. Thrusting weapons are as old as the spear itself, an ancient breed. Slashing blades have been around since war itself was born. Ranged weapons keep the enemy a little further off, for a time. Hmm. Well, ranged... Well, we probably are going to have a decent uh, ability to attack at range with our magic. So, let's go... Let's, well, let's pick news first. Have you news of battle? What are the rumors at court? Endless hours we forge and cannot meet the cry for weapons. We've no time for rumors. You must hear something. Then know that it goes badly. With every breath, all men lose ground. The Warlord must be a great general. Not so. It is said the Warlord commands a dark magic, one to twist and warp whatever lies before it. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's go with slashing weapons. Slashing weapon is to my liking. What you need is a good broad-bladed sword. I have just the one. Thank you. I'll take another weapon, if you please. It would please me as well, to give whatever you fancy. But supplies are short. You have all I can offer. Time for me to put your fine weapons to some use. 
Good day, then. But you'll need your wits more than any weapon. Remember it. Okay. Alright, so we now have a sword. If we drag that over examine, do we... Ah, yeah, there we go. Broad-bladed sword deals 1d8 damage. Can I drag that over the paper doll? Yeah. Um, okay. Um, before I put this to the test, I'm just going to save in case I'm about to harm this guy. So... <laughs> Right, okay, so just right, uh, just left click there. Alright, fair enough. Looks straightforward enough. I guess we're going through here. There's a crate. Can we smash it? Doesn't look as though we can, we can't get any closer to it, and that doesn't seem to do any damage to it. Alright. Hello. How goes your watch? I would give my life. I hope it stays so. I'll take your Yeah. Hmm, okay. I think this is the first game I've ever seen that has crates that don't expect you to smash them. Or maybe there is a future way to do it, but. We don't have it yet. This place needs some maintenance. Wow, more guards. No, you're just gonna say exactly the same thing, aren't you? Uh, looks as though there's a button there, yep. Oh, hello. Who are you? Old one. Ah, uh, I mean, oh, Master Azariah. Right. Right. I had not thought to see you here. So I had hoped. It seems you have met with our court magician and armorer. Both proved helpful. To them and to you, old one, I apologize for my lateness this day. Apologize for nothing if you are not the cause. Forgive me, I fail to understand. I woke late, it's true. You woke as I planned. I wished the others gone early, but you are my secret. You best explain, I think. Has not the Warlord seen through every plan we've made? Broken every attempt against him? The others have caught his eye, I'm certain. But you may go unnoticed. Okay. What tricks have sparked in your brain, old one? This door near us, behind, lies a void gate. A rare item. By it, you shall cover many leagues on the instant you step within. Where shall I arrive? Facing what army of demons? This gate is linked to a small keep, one now behind the warlord's lines. You shall arrive unnoticed, deep within. What of this keep? It may become a prison if luck deserts me. Luck shall be yours, I promise. East of the keep lies the Dark Lantern. You must go there. Dark Lantern? The name itself is grim. What use is this place behind enemy lines? It is of incomparable value, not for itself, but for he who resides within. The Mage of the Dark Lantern. Let your path not be diverted. Seek out the wizard, and pray his mood is generous, his spirit as unyielding as ever it was. If I am not to follow in the steps of those who left before me, what is my path? 
Your path is your own. I have but set the direction. In the end, it is the Warlord's dark magic you must find. Destroy that magic, no matter the cost. Quickly, without another word, onward through that door. And fare you well. Okay. I can't resist another word. No, no more options. Okay, so the stage appears to be set now, and this door over here. Ah, oh, there we are. Uh, has a portal in it. Let's just take a look at the journal here. Azaria, Azaria was convinced I must seek out the Dark Lantern and hold counsel with a mage that dwells within. I may be tempted to take another path, but the old one was quite persistent. It may not be a good idea to steer away from the path he set me on. Okay, doesn't even mention the keep that I'm teleporting into. Well, I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Whatever is on the other side of this portal, we'll see it in episode two. Thanks for watching, see you next time.